Hello and welcome to the Meta YouTube channel and to this video on my full video note-taking workflow where I'll be sharing the totality of the workflow that I do when consuming videos but also sharing a specific part of that totality, that script which takes and timestamps and stops the video automatically for you whenever you watch YouTube videos in this case. So I'll take you through this and I'll show you what I mean and I'll share with you this script so that I, you can utilize this for yourself and to follow this process that I'm going to be delineating and sharing here. So let's go into Obsidian here and let's check what we have in store for today. So what we are sharing here is this timestamping script. I've shown this before, but I haven't shown the rest of these scripts that is in my master context menu. So what I'll actually do here is start this master menu script and I'll show you how this YouTube note-taking timestamping script actually works. And um, before we do that, I'll just say a few words about why this is important as we've delineated and talked about in the philosophy of note taking and knowledge management in the past. What is actually relevant here is that the filtration of raw media, of raw consciousness, of raw perceptions actually gets filtrated through these stages of deconstruction of analysis, which is so vital if you are to be able to understand the epistemology, the reasons why something is true, not just taking things that are said in podcasts or YouTube videos or whatever kind of media that we are discussing to be true in its own regard. We need to deconstruct and analyze this. So. Yet again, utilizing this script is just one of the many ways in which we can bring about that greater consciousness and greater understanding, which is so vital. So, first of all, before I actually do the timestamping, before I actually do the active watching of a YouTube video, what I'll do is that I'll open YouTube and I will use this example of what I watched today, Kate Mann Gaslighting, what is gaslighting? And what I'll do is that I do my YouTube to Obsidian script. Have your video in front of you, make the zoom of the page equal to 100% and press OK, append. What that did, as I've defined it for myself, is that it appended a new entry onto my YouTube video favorites. Let's see here. My YouTube video favorites, where on the bottom of this, you can see that I just watched or listened to YouTube and the link and the video title. And what I'll do from there is to remove the formatting that Obsidian doesn't like. I'll make this into an internal link. I'll open this and create it as a file. I'll append my video notes template. I'll remove the guide, the internal guide. I'll check what the actual name of the channel is. And remember to do control shift V for correct formatting. And I'll copy the original video title right there. And I'll make this uppercase and then just copy this and then paste it into the title. There's a file with the same name already, Kate, man. Because I actually did take notes on this at 10 a.m. today, so I can't actually do this right now. But let's use this as an example. Let's actually bring up the... timestamping script that I'm going to be sharing with you that you can download for yourself and follow this process. Let's open this. Open YouTube to your left. Okay, that's Windows and left key to actually make this jump. And open Obsidian to your right, like so. Keep Obsidian in focus by Alt-Tabbing and leave your mouse cursor on the YouTube video while pressing Ctrl-Alt-Z 
to timestamp. Understood. Easy does it. So let's actually start this video. Let's say we get to some interesting information here. Okay, so I want to timestamp. She said something interesting. I have my video notes here. Leave the mouse cursor on the YouTube video. You don't actually ever have to use your right hand. You can, the point of this is to never let your right hand leave the uh, keyboard so that you can just continue watching without having to navigate with the mouse. Keep obsidian in focus by alt tabbing and press control alt Z. So let's do that right now. Okay, that copied the current timestamp of the video and it appended my name and it appended the date and it appended the hours and minutes at which I stopped the video and it enables me to now make my reflections about the content of the video and press enter to resume the video and scroll up automatically. So let's say I wanted to go further in the video. Control Alt Set. Now you can see that the time is further on in the video. Let's me again reflect about the content in whatever fashion I so desire. Press enter resumes the video and scrolls the video further along. So very helpful for me because it gives me that clarity to be able to much better bring about understanding of the content that I'm dealing with. So if this is helpful for you, if you want to download this timestamping script, I have provided the download link for the video, for the script in the video description. If you want to utilize this, if you have any bugs while using the script, please do let me know and I'll be more than happy to try to assist. Keep in mind that this currently, I think, only works for Firefox. I have a working copy of this script utilizing Edge, Microsoft Edge on my laptop, and I can try to provide a link for that as well if you want to. Keep in mind that if you use this script, you have to be able to understand that you should go into the script and perhaps see what code is being dealt with there. And um, again, just please do let me know if you have any questions. With that being said, I hope this video provides some use for you and that you might get insight that I have proven to give insight and that this script will prove useful for you. So with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in and sharing your time with me on this video on my note-taking workflow. Please do take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Magnus signing off.